Hey, what's up guys? Greg Heckler here today and welcome to a very exciting initial training session for our new online product designer. Today what we'll be looking at is how you can design your own products online. We will walk through how to use one of our incredible stock designs that you can customize or even upload one of your own. Either way, it's going to be fun, so let's dive right in. Let's start, if you haven't already, by going to our newly designed website of cdgbrands.com. As you will see, the site has recently changed and we are constantly adding new content, features, and exciting new designs. To quickly begin designing your own products, let's start by clicking on the Design Your Own link in the main menu. The link will direct you to what is our current online product list. This list will continually grow and change as our site expands. For now, we are focusing on basic t-shirts, polos, and some of our most popular Under Armour apparel. Within this page, you have control over filtering just the products you want to see by their category, size, color, and supplier. Once you have decided upon the product you want to begin designing, simply click on the picture of the product. The next window will allow you to choose the color, sizes, and quantities of the product that you have chosen. As you see here, you could very easily change the color of the product by clicking on the small color swatches to the right of the product image. When you have decided upon the colors, sizes, and quantities, just click on the Start Designing button. Now the real fun begins. Let's start by adding one of our stock designs from our library. We'll click on Add Design at the main control bar menu. The pop-up menu that appears will allow us to choose the type of process we want our shirt to be decorated from. At this time, it's our recommendation to always use the heat transfer choice. This does not mean that all designs will be heat transfers though. As we've launched this new designer, and as the site grows, this choice will become more specific based upon how our teams create your designs. We will update you again with another training video and more information when the other choices and changes are in effect. So for now, let's just click on Add Heat Transfer Design. The next window will allow you to pick from one of our many stock designs that we have online. To the left of that window, you will see the list of categories that we currently have available. For this example, we'll click on the triangle next to Stock Designs. In this design, we're going to be working with the generic sports category, so we will click on Sports. Within the sports category, we have separated our designs by sport to once again help speed up the process for you locating a design you like. In our example, let's stick to an easy logo just to start with. We'll click on the baseball at the end of the first row and then select Design. Ta-da! There it is. Your design has begun. But wait, hold on. We still need to customize it a bit. Let's continue. Once the design has been placed on the image, notice that the image has handles on the edges. Each of those handles can be clicked and resized. You can also move the image around and place it anywhere within the yellow print box area. This boundary is the outer limit of which we can print. Now let's get into more customizing. On the left of the window you will see that the designer has identified the colors and text in the stock design you have chosen. Each one of these individual components can also be customized. Let's start with changing colors. If we click on the red swatch color, we can then change that color to anything we want. We can also do that with each of the other colors in the design. To change the text, click on the edit link next to the line of text that you want to change. It will then allow you to retype the text. At any time that you don't like the art, simply click on the red X 
and remove it and start all over. Have fun at it. We like to see your designs. Now let's get into uploading your own design. Let's click on the red X to remove the stock image we've placed. From the main control bar menu, let's click Add Design again and Add Heat Transfer Design again. This time, we'll click on the Upload Design choice. We'll click on Upload Image. The designer will then allow you to select an image that's local from your PC to upload. In our example, we'll pick our company logo that's on our desktop to use. Depending upon the size of your image and your local internet speed, the amount of time it takes to upload that image may differ. Once your file has been uploaded, the window that next appears is extremely important. In the digital world we live in, it's very hard to constantly enforce digital licensing rights and many design firms have failed and resulted in highly publicized legal battles between the established media owner and printer. At Custom Design Group, we want to ensure that all parties agree that the owner of the content provided is the person uploading it. If you should have any questions on using a local sports team logo or content that just isn't yours, please consult one of our customer service reps before you upload. In our example, we'll click the declaration of acceptance and then click OK. There it is, our logo on a shirt. Once again, you will have all the controls that you had previously in resizing or moving the image around. Only those images that are truly vector-based, such as EPSs, will have the ability to change the logos in the image as we previously went through. Also, any personal images that you want to add or change the text on, we truly recommend just adding the image to the designer and adding the text after it's uploaded. Once you are satisfied with your design and want to send the quote request in, simply click the quote button in the upper right of the control bar. In some cases, you may be presented with a warning over the quality of the image you recently uploaded. Don't worry, being that this is just a quote. Once the art and quote is submitted and our customer service team has contacted you, our art department will work on ensuring that your art is recreated to our printing specifications. At this point in the quote, just simply click OK. You will then have another pop-up to once again review your quote. Once everything is acceptable, a red Request Quote button will appear. That signifies that all the artwork is approved and then we just need your personal information to contact you further. Once you complete the contact form and submit it, you'll have one last check of your contact information along with your quote. This will be the last step to change anything before submitting it. Then simply click Submit Quote Request and you're done. The rest of the work is on our end. The quote request is submitted and the designer presents you with a confirmation number of which you can reference if you need to call our customer service. We hope that this tutorial was helpful for you to get started with our new online designer and we look forward to seeing the fun designs that everyone submits. Be on the lookout for some exciting contests that we'll be running soon from our social media sites where you can win some excellent prizes. Thanks again and happy designing.